I remember the day, it was October 22nd. I remember the day like it was yesterday. And I came right to that window and I slept right in that lobby. I was so tired. Before I came here, I lived from pillow to post, lived in abandoned houses. Uh, we lived at bus stops. So I just basically lived on the streets from anywhere I could. When I was using drugs, I had every excuse for them in the world. You know, why I couldn't do this, why I couldn't do that. And if I did do it, I just had to. But then after I graduated from a program, I learned some discipline. I learned things that I had to do, like being a parent. I learned how to compensate with my kids, not to put put downs, not to use four letter words. I learned to let them have an opinion. I listen to them. We have conversations. I worked right here at Rubicon through the janitorial program. I was very excited because that was my first job at 44 years old. And I was very grateful to be able to work at that time in my life. You can live like people, like a person, instead of living like a dog. Because that's what you live like when you're on drugs. I go to school on Mondays and Wednesdays, and I want to work with people that have mental health problems like I do. They can have them show them that I came this far, and so can you. It don't matter, I got here. <laughs> I got here. But I appreciate Rubicon every day I do. I don't have to look back. I could just keep forward.